Covering the Israel-Hamas war, a short-term ceasefire is expected to be reached today. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu met with Israel's war cabinet and full government today about this proposed deal that would allow 50 hostages to be released in phases during a window of what's being called a pause. We can't get our hopes up in a way that just believes that it's going to happen right in the next couple of hours. Minutes seem like hours and hours like days for Liz Natali, whose three-year-old niece Abigail is the youngest known American hostage taken by Hamas on October 7th. Abigail's parents were killed by Hamas, and Naftali remains cautiously optimistic because this isn't the first time a deal has said to be imminent. But, you know, when I think about that on Friday is Abigail's fourth birthday and that she should be home with her family and with her sister and brother, and she isn't right now. It, it's just, it's like you get your emotions, you have to keep them in check. The reported agreement between Hamas and Israel would allow for the release of Palestinian women and children that are being held in Israeli detention centers, with three Palestinian prisoners released for each hostage held by Hamas, according to the State Department. The agreement also calls for a four- to five-day pause in both ground fighting and bombing. And if the first reported phase goes as planned, approximately 20 more hostages will be released by Hamas, and the pause in fighting could be extended again. My family is in Palestine. So watching these things unfold, there is a certain trauma that you experience here. Rosa Tawil tells News for Jax she has family living in the West Bank and says her cousin, who was a journalist, was killed in an airstrike on October 9th. She says five days of a ceasefire is not enough to address the humanitarian aid needed in Gaza. So we need a complete ceasefire. Allow the people in Gaza to start rebuilding their hospitals and medical centers and seek the attention that they need because there is a significant amount of injured people, right? So... I think that these talks of a five-day pause are not enough. There is hope with a potential hostage deal that they will be able to get significantly more aid into the Gaza Strip with a goal of allowing some 400 trucks every single day to enter Gaza.